Bingo, you're on. All right. Shutting the seacock off. And then I crack this. This is my trick. I crack our sea strainer, which is the filter that keeps our uh, engine from pulling up seaweed and stuff. And I actually, I use our foot pump, our raw water foot pump, to suck most of the water out of the basket. And see how it's blowing. Pushing air out now, so that means I won't get any water down here when I take the basket out now because I drained the top of it off. That's my uh, that's my trick. That looks pretty clean actually. But you can see that there's like a film over the whole thing. So it's it's actually fairly clogged because most of the holes are filled with like this algae stuff. So I'm gonna go out and hose this thing out. Can you see a difference? Mm -hmm. So now all these little holes aren't semi-plugged. I did a really good job on your hair today. Thanks. In she goes. Welcome back to Sailing Sea Wind. Katie and I both want to thank you for all the kindness and support you showed with the last episode. Vulnerability is one of the hardest and most essential pieces to the puzzle of human connection. We are out here showing you a large part of our lives, and it wouldn't be true to our nature to hide the parts of us that make us, well, us. We are quirky and feel emotions deeply, and we are also out here trying to lean into our fears, building a better relationship with uncomfortable environments. So cheers to you for being here with us on this journey. We make these videos for our viewers, and without you, there wouldn't be an us. Bye, Trio. Bye, Blind Spirit. Bye, Tropic Bay. We're out of here. We just left Pelican Harbor, our home base of sorts while in Southeast Florida. Our goal is to sail back to the Bahamas, forging new paths for ourselves, living off grid, catching our food, and powering our home with the sun and wind. Our staging area for takeoff will be Fort Lauderdale. This time around, we're choosing a new path to the islands. More on that later. Last January, we were in Miami with Trio, waiting for a weather window to cross from Key Biscayne to Bimini. If you haven't seen that episode, I'll link it here. It's a good place to start if you haven't seen many of our episodes because it recaps our journey from Lake Erie to Florida. And talks in depth about what it takes to cross the Gulf Stream and sail to Bimini, Bahamas. And if you've been wanting to binge our videos from the very beginning, I've created a playlist that you can find on our channel called All Videos in Order. You can click this link here, grab some popcorn, and settle in for our 61 episode show. And as always, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, and make sure that you hit the notification bell so you don't miss an episode. All right, all right, all right. Back to the task at hand. On our way to Fort Lauderdale. All right, we gotta look for traffic because it's going to be a nut house out here. You can already see the chop from other boats, and I'm holding on to the furler. Starboard, all clear. Port, all clear. We are good to go. All right. The world is ours. <laughs> <laughs> we feel freed. Do you feel freed, my love? Yeah. Ask me that after like the seventh bridge today on New Year's. Okay, I will. <laughs> Okay, we'll check in later. Uh, thank you, Spanish River. Have a happy new year. This is Lake Boca. There are two kinds of boaters out there. Actually, there's many kinds of boaters. Crazy. Suddenly, we're remembering why we shouldn't do this. We always leave on a holiday. We always leave on a holiday because that's when I have off work and stuff and or like a holiday weekend or uh, it's like our kryptonite or something, I don't know. Or a penance for 
any 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 bad karma that we may have floating out there it's our it's our this is our payback yeah we keep the karma equal yeah exactly keep uh, keeps that. us keeps us humble right yep. <laughs> We are officially in Fort Lauderdale. Welcome to Fort Lauderdale. The bridge says. Okay. Say hi, Parker. You're in Fort Lauderdale. My hat's drinking. We're going under the Commercial Boulevard Bridge. Are you excited? Yeah. to be that golden hour. I know. It's just green beans, onions, olive oil, uh, Trader Joe's, ca kale cashew, pesto, and cauliflower gnocchi. We did good today. You did good today. You did the best today. Thank you, honey. You're my superhero. Oh, thank you, baby. You're welcome. Hey, little mom. Hi. I like to paint my nails. You like to paint your nails? Yeah, my nails do not cut. Okay. I can yell them and paint my nails. Fine. Yeah. Hmm. I think the small oh, boy. I know. Think about it. The yellow? Hey, I was thinking maybe yellow. It feels. Mm -hmm. Oh, the days of putting on the same clothes over and over again until they couldn't possibly be any more dirty. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we doing? Are we going somewhere this morning? I think we're going to Lake Sylvia, right? Yeah, Lake Sylvia. Where are we at right now? I really didn't tell people where we stopped last night. Sunrise Bay in Fort Lauderdale, North Fort Lauderdale. It's a really cool place, and it's not that bad, except for the fact that, like, now there's a huge barge going on the ICW. <laughs> it's just, like, even if there's not boats directly in front of us on the ICW, all of the wake and stuff from the ICW just, like, moves around all the time. Mm -hmm. And so it makes it bumpy, and if we had to be here, if there was no other, like, nice anchorage around and we had to be here, um... It wouldn't be a big deal but the fact that there is a like a very like 360 anchorage that we can outside of traffic that makes it a bit more enticing to work from that for the week yeah like sylvia yeah is not directly off the icw no. all right are you excited we had a good breakfast yeah. and some coffee yeah and i finished my book and i trimmed my fingernails and i plucked my eyebrows <laughs> so i mean we were like we're on it we're going to move anchorages, and I know you want to work on a video, mm -hmm. and I still have off work, so I think I'm going to do some yoga and paint my nails and read my book. Probably tomorrow while you're working, I will log on and just, like, get prepared for the week so I'm not, like, feeling rushed on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. um, but other than that, I think that's all that's going on. Time to take the bridle off. These are a nice new anchor roller that actually rolls.
Go ahead. I think it might have piled on top of itself. Uh, yeah. We're in our uh, Lake Sylvia Anchorage. The new bow roller really likes to shoot the chain out there real fast. <laughs> so, um, hey, so you have to you have to work the clutch more to uh, throttle the amount of chain paying out and the the quickness with which it pays out. the The first time we went to set the anchor, I believe we piled up the chain on top of the anchor accidentally and then it didn't set because it got caught around the roll bar or something. So now we are uh, firmly anchored on attempt number two. Good job, my dear. I got an arm pump from cranking. Did you get an arm pump yeah. from cranking? Yeah. Brain food, because I have to make a video. My favorite things, good food and Katie Mae. It is hot. So this is a um, clothing optional kind of day. I have to make a video for you all. The video that I'm gonna make today is us being splashed into the water after all the work and figuring out if our exhaust works. Alrighty, I'm gonna go uh, work my day away on the computer. <laughs> Cheers. Yoga is something very special to Katie and I. We are constantly working at keeping our practice consistent even when on the go. We feel best when we give back to our bodies that do anything we ask of them. I have a much harder time with the consistency part as evidenced by Katie being on film doing yoga more often. But as is anything in life, you have to keep practicing as well. And what's more serene than yoga on the bow of sea wind with coffee and music? Certainly not the running lights that need fixing, but you can't have one without the other. All right, well, you guys remember back when we were in, what was that? I was on the Chesapeake Bay and I had to redo the lights. Well, look at that. For some reason, I cannot stop water from getting into these housings. So, I've invested in some new LEDs. These are sealed. They have a wire coming out of them. So there's no connection that I have to try and make up in the light. It's just two mounting screws. This is by Aqua Signal. They're very expensive but I hope they last a long time. They have a five year warranty. And well, that doesn't look like it's gonna light up, does it? I actually tried the running lights the other day and it didn't work. Clearly they didn't work. <laughs> so 
That's my job today. The wire, I made the connection up here and the wire actually comes down through this valve pulpit tube and it goes down into the anchor locker and there's a terminal strip that um, the wires are attached to. I'm going to hopefully use these old wires that are not tinned to pull these new wires down through on each side. So that's my plan. So let's see if I can uh, execute. I think the trickiest part will be getting the new wires down into the boat. Hopefully, fingers crossed, they pull through very easily. So we'll see how it goes. Here we go. Here's the uh, moment of truth. Go ahead. Oh, oh there we are. All right. <laughs> Sweet. New running lights. Fingers crossed they last longer than the other ones. We have new running lights. That's a big deal. That was a day of doing. And I also, I also have a Starlink project that I haven't shown you guys yet. It was a very quick and dirty one, but it, I think it's working pretty well. I'll show you guys that maybe to tomorrow. To be continued. Yeah, to be stir. continued. So we're making dinner now. Oh yeah, what do we got there? Penne, mm -hmm. gluten free. Veggies. What is that? Onion, pepper, mushrooms. Arugula. Arugula. Olive oil. Yum yum yum. And the water is boiling. Oh man. It is chilly tonight. It's going to get down to 59 degrees. I'm sitting out here on the bow. Katie's inside talking to her uh, sister on the phone. And I am looking at this full moon. It is stunning. There it is. I'm really enjoying being back on the boat and back on anchor. Both Katie and I, I think, are just like really breathing sighs of relief. <sighs> that we're back. Because I ate a whole dinner and I feel real good. I had a carrot cake and a vintage cola olipop. Yeah, let's go one for the cola. Yeah.
It's windy up here, so I don't expect you guys to hear too much of this, but I just put new spreader boots on right here. This is a new design. This is by White Cap. They are Velcro, so you don't have to worry about any tape coming off. And they're supposed to be UV treated pleather. So we'll see how they last. And then I also added a new smaller radar reflector and I'm gonna be adding the same thing on the other side over there. You can see the old spreader boot with the tape coming off on the bottom. Those rubber spreader boots are more traditional. They cost almost the same amount as this new style. So I figured we'd give it a go. Katie's down below. I'll show you my view from up above. Hi, Katie. Here's our Starlink mount. I know it shades a little tiny bit of the panels, but so far we haven't noticed any difference. So here's Sea Wind. It's our porta boat. Here's our anchorage, Lake Sylvia, Fort Lauderdale. So the spreaders are about halfway up the mast. I'm not going up any higher today, but you can see the mast that's above me. And uh, it's nice when you're working on the spreaders, you can sit on them. So uh, yeah, beautiful day in Fort Lauderdale. Second side is done. See how nice and clean they are. Second radar reflector is on. There's the seizing all tucked in there so there's nothing to chafe on. So that's good. Same thing on the bottom. And yeah, ready to go back down. Katie, you ready? Yeah. What's going on, Beads? Oh, uh, just sanding so we can varnish this. We have issue with water getting underneath our bowsprit. I just hogged out all of this uh, caulking here. This is evidenced by this, uh, this side has some uh, varnish that has gotten water underneath it. Um, so I think in the not so distant future, you see this. There's a big void underneath there. In the not so distant future, we need to uh, take this bowsprit up. I've been thinking that these chain plate bolts were leaking because we're getting some water dripping down from the, the backing plate on the inside of the uh, anchor locker here. But it is not that. I put earplugs in because the sound of sandpaper like this is like awful. This bowsprit issue has been something we've been monitoring for a while, and it is on the top of our priority list to fix. But we are choosing to have some balance, and for now, it will get some varnish, caulk, and close monitoring. The Bahamas are calling, and so we shall answer. Join us next week as we weigh anchor and say goodbye to the U.S. as we sail across the Gulf Stream through the night and arrive in that familiar baby blue water.